Patriots All Access continues with this week's standing quarterback, Tom Brady, who's a very sharp guy because if you notice, he's wearing a Red Sox hat, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As opposed to the other one. I was Did wearing. you have to run out to the, uh, have you been wearing that for a while? Well, this one's worn is pretty good. I got this when I was up at a game about three months ago, so. Yeah. But uh, in your heart, you're a Giants fan. San Francisco, San Francisco Giants. Giants. Yeah. For them, I've been going to those games for a long time. So I was a Giants fan long before any other baseball fan. Were you a baseball player as a kid? Yeah, actually, was probably my favorite sport growing up through high school. Really? Um, ended up getting picked by the Montreal Expos and decided I wanted to go play football at Michigan instead. Not a bad second option. Yeah, not too bad at all. A lot of guys at Michigan wound up uh, being dual uh, professional athletes, two quarterbacks, yeah. and uh, playing baseball as well. Must be a right. trend there, huh? Yeah, there's some uh, there's some good athletes that go through there. So, so you play in front of 110,000 people on all your home games, coming in front of 60,000. This must feel like an empty stadium. But <laughs> <laughs> well, after a while, you get used to the crowds. Um, that's what you're preparing for. So I know the first time I ran out at Michigan at that that big stadium was pretty overwhelming. So running out into this one certainly, and it's fun to see all the fans, but uh, not quite as overwhelming as it was there in Ann Arbor. I'm not sure this is exactly how you wanted to script your, your starting performance here at the misfortune yeah. of, of somebody else, but uh, you've got to put that aside, I'm sure, and just and get ready to play a football game. Yeah, man, you, you, you think about the situation, and, and I know visiting Drew in the hospital, I mean, he'd love to be out here playing, um, and it's really my job to step in and, and pick up where you know where he left off, and, and that's to be a leader of the offense and to go out there and perform as well as I can because he set a great example. Um, and I'm going in there to play well. I mean, there's there's no doubt in my mind that I'm capable of doing that and while, while knowing that Drew's going to be there supporting me just as I supported him. It's a it's a delicate balance. You come in as a second-year guy. You don't want to make waves. You, want to, you don't want to appear to be too cocky. But you've got to act cocky and confident in this role that, that you're being thrust into right now. Right. I think from day one, I just approached it the same way, that I'm going to come here and work as hard as I can. And, you know, hopefully through that, you get the respect of your teammates that when you are called upon to go in there and perform, uh, they believe in you and they trust in you, and I think uh, there's a lot of guys in that locker room that do. Bill Belichick told us this summer, long before the first exhibition game, that, that he felt you were the most improved player on the team. What what did you do in the offseason, and, and what has made you a better player this year? Well, I think I just approached it the same way that I approach everything, as hard as I can. And, and I went in there, and I, and I met with our weight coach, and I really tried to put on a few pounds and get stronger, both my legs and my upper body. I think it's helped a lot with with my escapability and my arm strength, uh, things that just can can add to, to, I think, what I can and how I perform out on the field. So I'm um, definitely more suited to play this year physically, uh, but but more so mentally. I always felt mentally is where the game's really won, and yeah. I have that much more of an understanding of what we're trying to do on offense. Has it been a nervous week for you? Do you uh, toss and turn at night, uh, a little sleep a little bit differently than you did the past few weeks? Uh, not as much as you think. I mean, yeah. certainly you, you, you have more things on your mind because you, you have a, I have a bigger role uh, this week. So um, I wouldn't think toss and turn. I've actually been sleeping pretty good. So oh, good. I hope that continues. That's a good note. And would you prefer your opening at home? Uh, is that a little bit more comfortable than doing it on the road? I think so. Yeah. I think so. I mean, the, you get the home crowd, which is friendly, and, yeah. and you don't have to worry quite as much about the communication uh, aspect of the game. But um, either way, you know, I'd be prepared if it were on the road, uh, like it will be next week or uh, or this week at home. Well, you look like you're excited. I can sort of see that uh, you look like like you can't wait to get going and get this thing underway. Yeah. I mean, I tell you, I've been waiting for uh, for this for a long time. I've never been prepared, preparing for it since I played high school ball. So um, hopefully it's the start of, of a successful long career. Well, continue success. I hope it works out great for you. Thanks a lot. Patriots quarterback Tom Brady. We'll be back with more Patriots All Access in just a moment. 